I grew up in Heron, Illinois, but was born in Chicago. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, who were your favorite teachers? Oh, my high school art teacher. Yeah, what, do you remember her name? It was a he. Oh, okay. John DeHonich. Okay. DeHonich. And that was high school? That was Heron High School. Heron High School. Okay, got it. Who influences you the most? In my artwork? Mm -hmm. I think it was a, a, a high school art teacher who followed John DeHonich. Yeah. His name was Ken Carringer. An evening watercolor class okay. at Heron High School, where I had been a student, mm -hmm. and at that point I was teaching art at Heron Junior High. After going through college, and I was teaching uh, 180 students a day. I thought. Oh wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, what are your favorite or least favorite parts of being an artist? I think. For me, it's lifelong learning yeah. and wonderful, inspiring people who to exhibit and who share their talents mm -hmm. in workshops mm -hmm. and encourage others. Yeah, good. Uh, what is a dream project that you would like to work towards? A what? A dream project. A dream. 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 Oh. Uh, I've been having several themed environmental issues mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, exhibits in fiber works. Oh, yeah. And the latest one is about animals and their habitats, and we'll have a solo show at Giant City State Park Visitor Center for oh, wow. November. But after that, I'd like to get back more to mixed media 2D mm -hmm. and maybe some 3D work. Mm -hmm. And our quilt guild recently uh, visited the quilt museum in Paducah where they had quilters make totems out of fiber, 3D, maybe like a quilt wrapped around a pole. Oh, wow. And the totem might be environmental, it might be. Uh, spiritual it might be uh, a tribute to flowers or nature mm -hmm. cool and we're going to do that at our next guild meeting oh wow with cardboard tubes <laughs> that's and cool we all bring our fabric and yeah. our little quilt pieces our quilt blocks interesting it'll be fun <laughs> There'll be table centerpieces. Oh, wow. For what? For a function? For our own home. For our own home. Okay, got it. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Unless we discard them. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Repurpose. Yeah. What is on your playlist right now? Your music playlist. My music? Playlist. What are you listening to while you're creating your art? Oh, <laughs> let me think. Well, being hearing impaired slows that down. <laughs> Hi, Major. But I, I love country music. Do you? Okay. Do. Uh, if you could have dinner with anyone dead or alive, who would it be? Georgia O'Keeffe. Oh, yeah, for <laughs> sure. That's a good one. What's your favorite color? Kind of a bluish green. Mm -hmm. An earth color. Earth color. Only it. it's not like mud. It's more like water and air. <gasps> Good answer. <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? What did? What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> Let me think. <laughs> oh my! I was I at growing up, being hearing impaired. Mm -hmm. I I was more of into my quiet world, mm -hmm. and in high school we took a some kind of a interest survey and I was told when I grew up I needed to be in a uh, not a lighthouse that would that would have been all right but like the fire uh, stations that you know you watch for forest fires oh yeah but of course now I'm very interested in nature mm -hmm. and but I love to commute communicate and share with people mm -hmm. so thank you for <laughs> So when I grow up at 80, my class had a party last night, my class of 1960 from Heron High School. Mm -hmm. We're celebrating our 80th year. And someone asked one of the gentlemen what his, 
when he grows up or another year. He said just to live another year. Mm -hmm, I understand. That year I want to create and exhibit and do workshops and yeah and have fun <laughs> yes that's what you can do <laughs> what advice would you give your younger self to my young your younger self my younger self don't don't be an introvert get out there and go for it that's good advice that's very good advice okay take thank you take a chance take a chance <laughs> thank you okay. thank you